Hey everybody, this is Andy here. Just wanna let you know that we have a brand new episode of our podcast, Simply Complex. It's available now on Apple Podcasts and wherever else you listen to podcasts. Simply Complex is a complimentary podcast that expands on our how to make everything videos and allows us to do more in-depth interviews and discussions on complex parts we often overlook. In this episode, we tackle one of the largest unseen parts of our videos, the research. So we dig into the history of research via the library and how that has evolved and adapted with the invention of the internet. We also interview an actual librarian about what libraries are doing to stay relevant. One special request, head over to Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to podcasts, subscribe and leave us a review. The reviews will help us climb in the charts, get a little bit more attention and help connect with people like you. So thanks for all your support and we have a new video coming out this weekend. It's gonna be on uh, making some Bronze Age swords. And uh, here's a quick little teaser for this podcast episode we just released. The library killer. When's the last time you have gone to a library? Libraries are often considered an essential part of having an educated and literate population. But when did they first come about? So did you find that out on the internet? My name is Trisha Smith. I am the director of the Germantown Community Library in Germantown, Wisconsin. And I asked her what goes on behind the scenes at a library. In the 21st century, libraries are changing and evolving to match modern society. But the key to making all of this work is the librarian. So with the rise of Google, YouTube, and Wikipedia, uh, what have libraries had to do to adapt? While there were full-time librarians in the 18th century, the professionalization of the library role was a 19th century development. Libraries have changed. So then how much money do you guys think libraries make from fines? That is not nearly as much as I thought it was. Yeah, that's pretty low. Who can guess how many public libraries are in the United States right now? Uh, hmm. <clears throat> do you guys think everybody working at a library is a librarian? 4,999,000. Do you guys think that there's any possible knockout technology or business model that might come along that could get rid of libraries, like the Netflix to Blockbuster? Wasn't expecting that. So the library's website. The library killer. Who can guess the world's largest find for an overdue library book? I love helping people find what they need. Do you guys think that libraries will be around 30 years from now? Why or why not? I use Google all the time, and it's not that I end there. I use it very much as like a starting off point and to verify certain things. And then using that information, I can go use those more academic type sources. What in your field do you think is kind of those like enviable, like that's the top you position? You know, libraries were very much started as places in that people would go and share ideas and learn. What path do you foresee libraries taking in the future to adapt? Right now we're doing a lot of really unique things that libraries don't traditionally do. Thanks for subscribing to Simply Complex on Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts. We look forward to next time. Talk soon.